Hi everyone, this is the 225 drill class. We're going to start off with some of the most common English verbs. All right, here we go, ready? Send, separate, serve, sound, speak, stand, talk, teach, tell, vote, wait, walk, set, start, tend, want, settle, state, test, warn, shake, stay, thank, wash, shall, stick, think, wash, share, stop, throw, wear, shoot, study, touch, will, should, succeed, train, win, shout, suffer, travel, wish, show, suggest, treat, wonder, shut, suit, try, work, sing, supply, turn, worry, sit, support, understand, would, sleep, suppose, use, write, smile, survive, used to, sort, take, visit. All right. I have a survey of 10 of the best places to eat breakfast. Here we go, ready? Number one, in bed. Number two, I hop. Number three, Denny's. Number four, sitting on the couch, bowl of cereal on my lap, watching Sports Center. Number five, Cracker Barrel. Number six, Grandma's House. Number seven, McDonald's. Number eight, Waffle House. Number nine, Bob Evans. Number 10, Papa John's Cafe. Never heard of Papa John's Cafe. I've heard of Papa John's Pizza. I don't think I've heard of Bob Evans either. As far as a breakfast place is concerned. All right. I've got names and addresses. Here we go. Ready? Ms. Juanita Castillo, C-A-S-T-I-L-L-O, Hardy County High School, 200 South Florida Avenue, Tampa, Florida, 34873. Mr. David Kuplinski, P.O. Box 2000-53, South Lake Tahoe, California, 95705. Ms. Barb A. Hansen, H-A-N-S-A-N, -S Route 2, Box 86A, Hinckley, Minnesota, 55037. Mr. Donald Lawrence, L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E, -E, 4429 Vista Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19136. Ms. Geneva L. Golson, G-H-O-L-S-O-N, 40 North Avenue, Newark, Ohio, 43055. Little Falls Community High School, 1001 Fifth Avenue Southeast, Little Falls, Minnesota, 56345. Ms. Karen Anagonst, A-N-A-G-N-O-S-T, 225 Steuben Street, Montour Falls, New York, 14865. Counseling Office, Attention, Ms. Linda Parker, 110 North Hillcrest Street, Greenville, Michigan, 48938. Ms. Dory Spiller, S-P-I-L-L-E-R, Route 2, Box 425, Park Falls, Wisconsin, 54552. All right. I've got a basic abbreviation drill here. It's going to cover Friday, Saturday, Sunday, question, that, think, they, wrote, write. Here are your sentences. Just stating this. Here we go. Ready? What are you doing Saturday night? I think they can finish by Friday. I wrote him on Sunday. I think I will order a chocolate sundae. Robert says he is writing a book. Give written notice. Do they have to work on Saturdays? His handwriting is practically illegible. They spend their Sundays watching football on television. It is really a hard question to answer. It is a question of time. I am questioning your choice. They wrote that they will be here Friday. Put it in writing. The questions were hard. We need it in a written form. They questioned the wisdom of that kind of thinking. Were you thinking of another question? Who wrote David Copperfield? Charles Dickens wrote David Copperfield. There is a man named Friday in Robinson Crusoe. The Saturday night program has been postponed for a week. That is a good plan. I have a narrative answer for you. I'm going to read this once at 200, again at 225, again at 250. All right. 
right, here we go. Narrative answer. Jenna said that she overheard them talking on the phone in the bedroom. Hayden was talking to somebody on the phone, and Hayden said to come over right away. Well, Jenna said that she went back to bed until she heard a car come up. Then she looked outside and saw a man getting out of the car and coming up the walk. Hayden let him in, and Jenna could hear their voices downstairs. Hayden was telling him that Jenna had cashed the check and that she had stashed the money under the cookie jar on the kitchen counter. Jenna had told me that afterwards she asked Hayden what she meant by telling him that she had hidden the money. Then she told me that Hayden denied saying any such thing and that they had a horrible fight about it. Hayden left in a huff and said that she was never coming back. Well, that story was nothing like what I heard from Peter. Peter said that he didn't know anything about the affair until the next day when I saw it on the news on television. All right, so again, we're going to read this at 2.25. Here we go. Jenna said that she overheard them talking on the phone in the bedroom. Hayden was talking to somebody on the phone, and Hayden said to come over right away. Well, Jenna said that she went back to bed until she heard a car come up. Then she looked outside and saw a man getting out of the car and coming up the walk. Hayden let him in, and Jenna could hear their voices downstairs. Hayden was telling him that Jenna had cashed the check and that she had stashed the money under the cookie jar on the kitchen counter. Jenna told me that afterwards she asked Hayden what she meant by telling him that she had hidden the money. Then she told me that Hayden denied saying any such thing and that they had a horrible fight about it. Hayden left in a huff and said that she was never coming back. Well, that story was nothing like what I heard from Peter. Peter said that he didn't know anything about the affair until the next day when he saw it on the news on the on television. All right, so the last time will be at 2.50. Here we go. Jenna said that she overheard them talking on the phone in the bedroom. Hayden was talking to somebody on the phone, and Hayden said to come over right away. Well, Jenna said that she went back to bed until she heard a car come up. Then she looked outside and saw a man getting out of the car and coming up the walk. Hayden let him in, and Jenna could hear their voices downstairs. Hayden was telling him that Jenna had cashed the check and that she had stashed the money under the cookie jar on the kitchen counter. Jenna told me that afterwards she asked Hayden what she meant by telling him that she had hidden the money. Then she told me that Hayden denied saying any such thing and that they had a horrible fight about it. Hayden left in a huff and said that she was never coming back. Well, that story was nothing like what I heard from Peter. Peter said that he didn't know anything about the affair until the next day when he saw it on the news on television. All right. How are we doing on time? Okay. Doing good. I have some tangle tamers for you. Okay, here we go. Ready? Willful or malicious intimidation or conspiracy synonymous with possession proof of possession self-addressed envelope four inch by seven inch by guarantee to grantor normal business affairs inhabited or unoccupied voluntary giving and receiving unconscious from intoxication most important re requisite incurring legal liability emancipatory statutes ordinarily sufficient ostensible authority voluntary manslaughter okay consonant compounds this is going to emphasize initial fr final rk final rj final rm here we go Frida was frustrated, the fresh fruit was frozen, the franchise sold fragrances, Fran fretted about the loss, Tom loaded the fragile freight on the front of the freighter, on Friday you are free, the frisky frog was not frail, please tell Mark to park the car and walk to work, the ark is made of cork, did the berserk man lurk in the bushes, the barge was large, did he forge through the gorge, the dirge was played by George, her handshake was warm and firm, the worm was found in the berm on the farm. What is the form for the term paper? The germ will cause harm to your arm. The alarm sounded after the storm. Did Gay perform the charm and with charm and grace for the firm? All right, I have one more drill for you. This is going to be, uh, again, a continuation of classes and the dates, medical classes and their dates. Here we go. Here we go. 
Here we go. Ready? Chlordiazepoxide, Librium, and Dementia, April 3rd. Breast Cancer, March 1 through 4. Bran, Wheat, and Cholesterol, October 8. Bran, Oat, and Cholesterol, October 6. Bowel Cancer from Ulcerative Colitis, June 7. Botulism, August 6 and 7. Bottled Water, November 4. Bone spurs in osteoarthritis, December 6. Bone loss in osteoporosis, June 8. Bluefish and scombroid poisoning, March 4 and 5. Blood pressure and physician encounter, April 5. Blood pressure and ibuprofen, March 8. Blood pressure after lithotripsy for kidney stones, September 8. Blood pressure, general, December 1 through 4. Blood clots in heart attack, September 5 through 8. Biopsy of the breast, March 2 and 3. Biopsy for inflammatory bowel disease, June 5. Bethane, or excuse me, Bethanacol for Alzheimer's disease, April 2nd. Beta cells in type 1 diabetes, October 1 through 3. Benign prostatic hypertrophy, BPH, September 1. Beta blocking drugs for high blood pressure, December 3 through 4. Bethanicol for Alzheimer's disease, April 2nd. Benign prostatic hypertrophy, belch reflex, February 7. Beans and cholesterol, 8, or excuse me, October 8. Balloon catheter, January 1 through 4. Back pain, chiropractors and catheters, September 10. Autoimmunity in type 1 diabetes, October 1 through 3. Autoimmunity in thyroid failure, February 6. Autoimmunity in rheumatic fever, May 1. All right, and that concludes our drill for the 225 class. Have a great day.